How's it going everybody? Datudoi here with a much requested video for you all today. And that is because today we are going to be taking a look at some potential hints for a future season three of Dragon Ball Fighters. Although I always like to say here at the top of these videos that nothing is officially confirmed until Bandai Namco says something. And I don't think we'll be seeing anything official in regards to Dragon Ball Fighters futures beyond Dragon Ball Super Broly until at least the World Tour Finals or a little bit before that. The date for those are still being determined, but last year's were held sometime in January. So I think you can expect something official around that time as well. Thankfully though, while we will have to wait a little bit longer for any official word on DBFZ's future, there have been some small hints found along with some of the newer character releases, speaking about Janemba and Gogeta's release specifically. The first hints we got towards something more being in Dragon Ball Fighters came along with the Janemba update, where upon taking a closer look at some files behind the scenes, Saitsu MD found four unused IDs, which he later came to the conclusion were most likely going to be new characters, or at least that was something that we could all hope for. Of course, this itself is not a new update Satsui came to this conclusion on August 10th so that is quite some time ago but we've only gotten more proof since then along with the Gogeta update and these next elements that we're going to talk about elevated Dragon Ball Fighter season 3 in my mind to something that might happen to something that is probably going to happen. For the rest of these hints, I am going to be sourcing a Reddit user by the username XDOXBrandoX, but I also took some time to talk to Saitsu from before and he confirmed that these are files within the game. Uh, he's been looking at them as well as some other people within that community. And the general vibe that I got from it was while they aren't sure what exactly they're going to be for, there is a lot of hope there that it does tie into an eventual season three. So anyway, back to the post in question by Dio Brando. Specifically, we're going to be paying attention to this line here where within the default game.ini, there is a config file that tells the game what to load and how to load it. And there is one line that tells the game not to load a specific file called Kara Select underscore S3. Next, there's a new folder in the files called CMNBG underscore S3, which has some files for something. However, there are no textures. There is CMNBG, which has been in the game since launch. So the S3 version does seem to also make me think that they are getting ready to confirm season three of DLC. Speaking very personally here, this alone is probably enough evidence to satisfy my curiosity curiosity and say that season three is most likely something they're working on behind the scenes as we speak. I don't think that's going to be the case for everybody. In fact, you might be watching the video thing. Uh, you know, I I'm not entirely convinced, but the good news for people that might be thinking that is this isn't the last bit of information we have in regards to data mining. There was also another post by Dio Brando talking about what could potentially be a new mode under the folder named teaching that could be found in the UI section. And within this teaching section, there are multiple icons, new textures, all of that stuff, things that were never seen before and Dragon Ball Fighters, which also has me agreeing with him that this could definitely be a new mode they're looking at. Within the post, he goes on to speculate that it could be something very similar to what Super Smash Brothers does with Amiibos, in which if you haven't experienced it, you train up an Amiibo, you teach it how to fight, sort of, uh, and then it goes on and you can watch it battle other bots and see how it does, things like that. That could be something they're looking to implement here, and it would be my best guess for what it could look like. He later goes on to edit this post when somebody else points out that there's also text for a teaching tournament, which most likely is a place where you can have have your team face off against other top teams uh, in which case if that's actually true i would love to see this game mode get implemented in the game it sounds super fun and it honestly sounds like actual fun side content and fighting games which is actually pretty rare so even if you aren't completely on board with the s3 stuff i think having this new mode be put in the game uh, this wouldn't be something that they add to a completed fighters game it wouldn't be like all right thank you so much for playing dragon ball fighters uh, our last update is going to be dragon ball super broly and hey we're also putting in this teaching mode i, I definitely think that the teaching mode is going to be another new thing along with a potential season three with characters. And again, that's not confirmed. That is just something that I could see them doing much like they did with the trophy room. You know, the trophy room in Dragon Ball Fighters was not supposed to be the final update. It was just a little sprinkle, a little something new uh, to keep us coming back along with the characters. And the last hint for the future of DBFZ is much less elegant than the data mining and all this stuff. And it's just the fact that Gogeta's placement on the character list was really weird. I don't think a lot of people were expecting him to be shoved up there in that top left corner uh, when there was much more natural spots to be opened up. Honestly, looking at this now, it's very easy to tell that they're going to mirror it with Dragon Ball Super Broly to keep things even and symmetrical, but that leaves a lot of empty space for other characters to slide in. This also kind of wraps around to our first point about the four unused IDs, because you could easily fit four characters there, and if you're pushing it, maybe even six if you kind of want to even it out, but honestly, I could see four fitting in here super easily, so we might be looking at somewhat of a smaller season three. And while that is definitely the most speculative of all of the claims we've made today, uh, a four-character season three 
Misery is something I could see maybe while they're winding dry on Dragon Ball Fighters, getting ready for a potential sequel. I think the game did sell well enough to warrant something like that. But yeah, potential four characters season three, I'd be down for that. And now because you can't go a whole video without talking about what those contents of season three would actually be, I would rather not speculate too heavily on things like that. But one thing that I will say for sure uh, is they've been acting very weird with Kefla, Khalifa and Kale and stuff like that. If you didn't know, Khalifa and Kale were going to be put in for, for a voice acting or a commentator pack, but there was something where they were removed, uh, shifted around. They never really got around to fully committing to that idea. Uh, and in my head, it's just like, all right, Kefla, Kefla has to be a shoe in She's a fan favorite Saiyan character, female character that would help diversify the roster a little. Uh, it just seems like the most natural fit, which is probably why I'm going to end up putting her on the thumbnail because man, it's Kefla has to be 100% guaranteed. There's, there's absolutely zero way Khalifa, Kale, or Kefla don't make it in with a season three. Other than that, some personal picks for me, if we're going to be sticking to relevant like characters that I could see getting in would probably be UI Goku. I'd be down. Super fun form. I know there's too many Gokus in the game, but that's just something I would like to see. Villains, maybe you could put in a little Topo, God of Destruction, something like that. Uh, and with my last character slot, I'll stick to something GT related and uh, go with maybe Omega Shenron. I don't know. Now that Gogeta's in the game, I could see a potential like Super Saiyan 4 dramatic finish or something like that. Whatever, dude. I'm down to get wacky going into season three. We've been here for two years. <laughs> well, now it's time for the fun part. Go down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of all of this news, whether or not you think season three is coming. And if you do, what characters would you like to see in a potential season three? While you're down there, if you like the video and enjoy the channel and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and check out the other videos on your screen right now. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching the end and leaving those comments. These are some of my favorite videos to read the comments on because I just love talking Dragon Ball Fighters with you guys, especially when it's something like characters. And with that, I've been Dr. Doya and I will see you in the next video.